Aloha no kako. My name is Kioni Kealoha Alvarez and I am from the island of Hawaii. I am the producer and director of the documentary film Kapu Sacred Hawaiian Burials. This documentary focuses on Hawaiian burial traditions. It's the first film ever created to document and research the history and desecration of ancient Hawaiian burials in Hawaii. This documentary also entwines my quest to learn of the sacred burial practice from Hawaiian elders, which has helped me to protect my family burial cave from being destroyed by a home development. It is my pleasure to share with you segments of Kapu Sacred Hawaiian Burials online. I hope the information that you're about to see is going to be very informative. Mahalo for watching. Today, caves and graves have been desecrated or looted by foreigners and sold on the black market. Museums and private collections have been involved in acquiring these objects. The items were taken from the cave back in 1905 and kept at the Bishop Museum until six years ago. The museum loaned them to the group Hui Malama, which then reburied them in the cave. Our membership is steadfast in that we will not recover the Moi Pu. We will not be an accomplice to theft. Federal prosecutors charged two Big Island merchants with stealing more than 150 repatriated Hawaiian artifacts from Kanupa Cave two years ago. I decided to visit Bishop Museum. It was founded in 1889 by Charles Reed Bishop in honor of his late wife, Princess Bernice Pawahi Bishop, the last descendant of the Kamehameha family. Today, Hawaiian Hall is the central part of the Bishop Museum. This room has three levels and holds the largest pre-contact Hawaiian artifacts collection in the world. I met with Bishop Museum's historian, DeSoto Brown, who shared with me what he studied about the artifacts and keys or statues displayed in Bishop Museum. Some of them have bone or shell, some of them have human hair attached to them, others do not. They are range in size from very tall to very small, some are very muscular, some are tall and skinny. The ki'i are just a one manifestation of a force that was much, much greater than just this one carved image. Mm -hmm. So this may have been a receptacle for that or a home where that deity could live and inhabit if you went through the ritual to call the deity to come and live there. Mm -hmm. But it didn't just come because you carved it. Mm -hmm. You had to go through a ritual to do it. Mm -hmm. Respect them, but don't mess around mm -hmm. if you don't know the protocols. Mm -hmm. And it is, it is possible that nobody today does know the proper protocols that were used originally for them. My stuff belongs in the Alemana, which we don't have. My stuff should belong with the rest of those images in the Bishop Museum, where it should be housed in the Alemana the way it was in the past. It didn't belong to decoration of your museum to show off. We're not dead yet. You still treat our stuff like toys. This image I created, again, it's, it's a 20, 20th century, 21st century. It's based upon Hinamoy. Hinamoy was considered the patron, patroness of death. See how, see how the Hawaiians were? They have an image of the discipline, of the practice that it takes, the sacrifice it's going to take for you to recognize the passing of a, of a person. But today, modern Hawaiians, they gotta have them. Yeah, we can study it, but we can know what it was like in our for our kupuna. That's why the term hala. Ua hala, those times are pau. Those were left with our kupuna and they should remain with our kupuna. Bishop Museum was in a court case battle, which was entwined with NAGPRA, a federal law made to protect indigenous skeletal remains and funerary items to be displayed in museums. Hale Aloha was arrested for refusing to retrieve stolen funerary items to Bishop Museum. For this, we are 
put in prison and treated as though we were thieves, treated as though we were common criminals. It's an outrage. You know, for us, everything that we have is a living museum, including the artifacts in the burial caves. And so the people that are putting it, you know, trying to buy these things up and preserve it for a collection and so forth, what are they doing? As soon as they buy them, what they do? They store it in, in some closet. They can, quote, protect it from the elements or, quote, protect it from somebody would-be thieves that might come in and steal this stuff when they, in fact, are the thieves themselves. You know, it's like, you know, the thief stealing from the thief. We're living people. We're not museum pieces. And our, our Evie should never be a museum piece, ever. You know, you have to always look at these situations and ask yourself, what is the lesson that the Kupuna want us to have, to learn from? And that lesson is that we may look in the mirror and see one Hawaiian, but it doesn't necessarily mean that in our na'au, that's how we feel. Because we have gotten so damn far off the trail, it's not funny. To the point where we actually engage in a public discussion on whether the, the, the family of this chief buried in this cave had the right to bury him with these moipu. And that we, today, have the right to second guess them and take them away, put them in a museum to educate ourselves. The irony of educating ourselves about Heva. And to me, that was the lesson in, in Kauai Hai. If you would like to host a screening of the full length of my documentary film, Kapu Sacred Hawaiian Burials, within your community, state, or country, it would be an honor for me to be there in person to share our Hawaiian culture. Click on the link below for more details of how to book a showing. You can also contact me direct. My email is kionialvarez at gmail.com or feel free to visit my website at www.kionialvarez.com. So until next time, ahui ho!